Welcome to the second half of this tutorial. We'll be looking at how to create uh, materials and lighting into our scene. And first thing what I'm gonna do is let's split up the window and change the viewport shading mode to render. And we see nothing because we do not have any light acting in our scene. Even though we have a default lamp in Blender, but it does not support the cycle needs a mesh based lighting or what which we can do by creating a new plane and make this plane as an emitter so for instance I'm gonna rotate this plane and in material tab I'm gonna add a new and by default it goes to a diffuse and let's change to emission and make sure your preview is not put on the pause mode and now you'll see we have something to look at now our plane is casting a light and sub shadows which is cool and for instance we'll keep the lighting as for now and we'll tweak the materials and in preview we can easily access the final output so let's select the outer plane as a studio plane and create a new material and set the surface to glossy a glossy means a reflective material and the more the roughness more the blurred reflections we will get and we certainly do not need it so we'll keep it very low so it will be nice shiny background and since it's only depending on the environment what we're going to do is to add a little bit of diffuse in it so in order to do that let's create a node editor which you can see from here and here you'll see a, a glossy node is connected to a material output and we'll need to add another diffuse node so for that just one sec just let me pause this Review. it's slowing down the things and I'll, uh, so I will click the shift plus a and it will bring me a total menu and in shader I'll get the diffuse BSDF so we have diffuse and we have glossy and we need to add those in so again in shader click on mix shader or add shader and just add them to and connect the output to the surface and if we look at now okay so let's keep that for now and we'll jump up to the text material creating text material so let's back to 3d view and let's this one. okay so select your text uh, your domains actually and not actually applying materials on your text object but you're actually applying material on your domain so click on new and by default you'll get a diffuse and first thing the reason my computer is getting slimmed down because I am running it on the GPU which is graphic card which is faster but it makes the thing slow so make sure it is on um, CPU while you're doing any calculations uh, well just for the preview sec and okay and now let's change this window to node editor and you'll need to pay more attention toward this since it's a bit of complex shader a little bit and first thing I'm not gonna need the fuse node and what I'll do is first I'll take a transparent node and let's click that into a surface and that makes a text invisible which is actually a transparent now and if I change the color and you'll see you'll get the color but we are not getting any shading or any diffuse amount in it 
so in order to do that let's create a diffuse node along with a glossy node a diffuse for a solid color and a glossy node for a little reflections and specularity we'll disconnect this node for just for now which is you can do by just drag this out from the output and first we'll need to mix those in so in shader hit the node called add shader and we'll need to add since these both are connected into add shader we'll need to add a transform bsdf to it as well so we'll need another add shader and let's connect this in let's say and that's it and you'll see now we have a transparency we have a reflectivity and a subtle diffuse amount in it okay here you can tweak the settings for reflectivity or how much roughness you need like zero means no roughness and all the way is like a very blurred like a very blurred reflections so let's keep it in between somewhere and change the diffuse color to yellow orange towards orange okay and one thing analyzed is we have an emission which is very close to the object which is tending this to getting burned out so I'll make this a little less three and we'll change the color as well towards blue certainly the image is looking very dull because we do not have anything in the background or say in the environment so come into the word add new and in color section select as image texture here you can put any HDRI if you want to and I have some good studio HDR which you can find on internet which is free uh, I'm gonna use a studio setup for it and I'm, I'm using the 32 studio 32.exr which brings a subtle change in my overall output but not as much so let's click on this world button so which will switch the node editor towards the environment and this will bring it towards the object so come into a world and let's create some texture coordinates and so in order to do that let's go to shift a input and texture coordinates and connect the camera to the vector and we'll getting we are getting a max shadow on it here you can control the strength of it so can delete on one or uh, either here can make it to 0 0.2 or 0 0.5 whatever we want let's come back to the object mode and select the domain i think the reflectivity is uh, transparency is a bit much so let's reduce that And one thing since it is very blown out with the reflections what we can do is we can have only diffuse acting in the front side and on the outer edges it will be reflective in order to do that yeah so we will introduce another node called it's an input and it's called layer weight and what it does it tells blender that okay uh, whatever is facing towards will get the diffuse color and the rest of it will get the another color but for that we'll need to mix this layer weight and for that we'll need to get rid of the add shader and we'll introduce the new sh shader called mix shader it has actually a factor value which we can put the Fresnel or the facing value in it so first try with the Fresnel and connect diffuse and the glossy node and let's connect everything in it and let's see what we got so roughly as you can see the very outer 
whatever the outer rim of the object is getting reflective just because the Fresnel is the factor between diffuse and glossy node. Well, this looks good and what we can try is try out the facing and what actually it is doing is facing polygons will get the diffuse color and the rest of it will get the glossy color okay so here i'm gonna tweak the color of the mesh uh, domain okay so let's try to add some more lights with some more color colors with more colorful things we had thing called we had a blue light so next light will be a pink or anything whatever you feel or whatever you like so i'm gonna take that in x-axis come to the material mode add new light change that into emission and you can see it's updating and change it to pink uh, pink change the intensity yes. create another one put it that in x axis give it the emission but slightly Oh, let's say towards the yellow. And, and one thing what we can do is to crank up our environment strength to lighting a filled up effect. And since it's been previewing, so we can have a look at the some of these settings. So here you'll get to see on which device it, it should get render it's on CPU it's CPU or GPU and CPU means it will use your cores and the GPU means it will use your graphic cards if you have a good enough graphic card you can use GPU in my case the CPU was taking a seven minutes for a frame and the GPU took only around two and a half minutes so it's a drastic change and so I'll prefer if you have a good GPU then use the GPU and here you can select the resolution for it and 50% means they have that so well, I think you all are familiar with this and another thing in the integer you have another thing called a preview by default it is skipped to 10 which means if I do any changes now and if I need to preview that in it will only calculate till the 10 samples and not more so if you put that zero so it will be unlimited so there will be a no stoppage so it will keep on cleaning all the way here are the samples you put for your render i put that in for 400 uh, if you need a more clear and a less grainy look you may crank up this up to a 600 800 or whatever First take some test for how much time it is taking and how much time you are willing to pay and the output is your okay, render destination where you want to save your data and here are the different types of file format you can use as a JPEG, PNG, Targa or whatever. I use Targa usually and that's it. Actually, you have exposure, which is the global exposure. If I crank this up to a three, the whole scene will burn up. And let's keep that to a one. And that's it, actually. So if I have to render this now, I'll pause this preview and we'll hit the F12 button, which will bring the new window just because I said the display into a new window. It started cleaning up the images for 400 frame 400 sample on cpu actually but on gpu it will go a much faster so this is it for this tutorial and i hope you have enjoyed and sorry for my stoppy steppy 
or whatever accent so, and I'm not very used to of it and so that's it for this tutorial and I hope you have enjoyed it uh, even a little I would be happy if you have enjoyed it even a little and well thank you and keep checking the other tutorials and happy blundering thank you